Do you speak espresso? I'm Marco and I'm about to teach you how to order coffee in Italy like a local. Before we begin, it's important to explain that Italians call all cafes bars. You go to a bar to order a coffee. I know, it already sounds confusing, but hey, that's the beauty of traveling and visiting new places. Things are different from back home, and although it may sound disorienting at first, it's really part of the fun of getting out of the comfort zone. Bar in Italy is a rather generic term to refer to the spectrum that goes from pastry shop to a full-on bar with hard liquor. And that's simply because no matter where you go in Italy, you will always find a coffee machine in any bar or restaurant, and you will always find hard liquor in any cafe or pastry shop. What can I say? We love coffee and booze and obviously pastries. Secondly, although it's internationally called espresso, we in Italy informally call it simply caffè. Remember the double F and the accent on the E. Caffè. If you ask for un caffè, you will always get an espresso in Italy. If it's a small and casual cafe or bar, it's customary to stand at the counter and order your coffee there. You will typically pay for your coffee before you receive it and you can enjoy standing at the bar. If you are in a hurry, coffee vending machines in airports, train stations and public places like schools and hospitals actually make really good coffee. Just don't tell my fellow citizens I ever mentioned that. Here's what you say to order an espresso. Salve! Un caffè, per favore. Salve. Un caffè, per favore. Salve is great because unlike buongiorno, buon pomeriggio or buonasera, you can use it at any time of day. It's polite and formal, but not too much. Or you can be even more polite and say Salve. Posso avere un caffè, per favore? Salve. Posso avere un caffè, per favore? Hi. May I have an espresso, please? Watch out for different variations of espresso. The default would be corto or liscio, short and smooth, meaning just a short plain espresso, not mixed with anything else like milk, foam or alcohol. Yes, you heard correctly, we'll get to that. We don't do double shots in Italy, but it is perfectly acceptable to ask for a lungo, a long shot, and you'll still be surprised how small of a coffee that is when compared to what you drink outside of Italy. You can ask like this, un caffè lungo per favore? Or, posso avere un caffè lungo per favore? Posso avere un caffè lungo per favore? Un caffè lungo, lungo. If you'd like your espresso with milk, that's when things get more interesting. Don't ask for a latte in Italy, or you will get a glass of milk. Instead, ask for un caffè macchiato, macchiato, which literally means stained. Un macchiato is an espresso with a scoop of milk foam. You can get even more specific and ask for un macchiato caldo, if you want your milk foam to be warm, or un macchiato freddo, if you want it to be cold. Don't be fooled by the sound. Caldo doesn't mean cold, but warm. Freddo means cold. If it's nighttime or simply you're sensitive to caffeine, it is perfectly normal to ask for a decaf espresso. It usually tastes great. Un caffè decaffeinato, per favore. I know, that's hard. Decaffeinato. Un caffè decaffeinato. But hey, even better, you can ask for un deca. Posso avere un caffè deca? Or even shorter. Posso avere un deca? Un deca, per favore. Another popular decaf option is barley coffee. Il caffè d'orzo. Un caffè d'orzo, per favore. In most cases, you will not find any filter coffee or soluble coffee in Italy unless you're staying at an international hotel. But you may go to a cafe, remember we simply call them bar, and ask for un americano. Now, you better be more precise than that and ask for un caffè americano because americano is also an alcoholic cocktail made with Campari. Remember, our cafes also serve our liquor. It's not uncommon for tourists to order an Americano and receive a boozy drink instead of a coffee. I actually find it quite hilarious, but hey, don't panic, Mark, we got your back, okay? If you're feeling cheeky or are in need of a digestive aid, remember, Italians are all about digestion, you may want to ask for un caffè corretto. Yes, 
it's corrected with alcohol, usually grappa, sambuca or brandy. It's simple and perfectly acceptable to order. Just say, un caffè corretto grappa, per favore. Un caffè corretto grappa. I know, there's a lot of R's. Rrr, corretto grappa. Corretto grappa. If you're looking for sugar, you may say, dov'è lo zucchero, per favore? Where is the sugar? Or, posso avere dello zucchero, per favore? May I have some sugar, please? Posso avere dello zucchero, per favore? Zucchero is usually either white, bianco, or caned, di canna, or integrale. If you need sweetener instead, that's called dolcificante. Other useful words in this context may be espresso cup, tazzina, get ready for it, cucchiaino, cucchiaino, it's a hard one, cucchiaino, milk is latte, or a drop of milk, un goccio di latte, un goccio di latte, check or bill is il conto, il conto per favore, and most importantly, Italy's favorite magic word, thank you, which is not gracias, that's Spanish, not grazie, that's wrong, but grazie, grazie, e grazie, grazie, or grazie mille, but always grazie, please pronounce that e, it's an e. Now I think you're ready to walk into that bar and order your first coffee as a local, and I guarantee you, when you make an effort and order in Italian, everyone will appreciate you so much and give you so much better service. If you want to learn how to make Italian espresso at home, you can check out this video tutorial and you can learn more about Italy's beloved mocha coffee pot by watching this other video or links can be found in the description below as well. And if you need help with picking the best mochas, coffee machines, Italian ground coffee, accessories and cups, my shopping recommendations are also below. I hope you like this video and find it helpful. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon to never miss another language tutorial. Once again, my name is Marco and I wish you buon viaggio in Italia e buon caffè. Arrivederci. Grazie for watching this video. <laughs> Ciao.